Ahem, shit, it's recording. Uh, what's good, YouTube? It's Dade from Creative Ice Media Group. I hope you guys haven't missed me too much. I hope you haven't been like carving my name in your table, writing my name with like l tons of love hearts on your like piece of paper, like when you doodle, because I haven't made a video for so long. It's been like two or three weeks, and I know it's been ages. It's because I've been filming the photo tuition series, which is out 25th of January, by the way. Um, but I decided to make a tutorial today because I felt as if I wasn't in contact with you lot, if that sort of makes sense, and because I was in the mood of making a tutorial that wasn't photo tuition based because I'm getting kind of bored of recording them, but it's okay. Also, I may, um this tutorial will be on how to make a magazine cover, and I decided to make it on that because some people have requested it in the past, but mainly because a friend of mine is doing a media coursework and is stuck, Stephanie, so hopefully this will help you and it will help all you viewers that are wishing to learn how to make a magazine cover because the techniques used in this, which there aren't many techniques, it's quite simple, you just need to like understand, sort of, yeah, um, the techniques can be used in like book covers, CD covers, um, blah blah blah, porn DVD covers, etc. It's all good, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna get at the tutorial right this second. You're gonna want a few things, and number one thing is a plan. You're gonna want to plan what your magazine will look like, because without a plan, yours won't look that good, and Without a plan, yours will look like mine because I made mine in 10 minutes without no plan. I just opened Photoshop, made a magazine because I was in the mood of making a magazine tutorial. So, ha! I have no idea why I said ha, but it's okay. Um, so, yeah, you're going to want a plan. That's the first thing you want to have after that and it, your images. And basically, as you can see, I have this image of a woman in the water um, flicking her hair beautiful water little flick so yeah you're gonna want your image and the images you want have to be really big because you'll see later on but they have to be really big um, by that I mean like the dimensions height width etc um, you're gonna want a load of good looking fonts so head over to thefont.com and start scavenging through their archive of fonts and you're gonna want little images to back up your front page like as you can see I have the Olay and the little aeroplane and I have the barcode okay so when you have all your resources that you think you'll need you can tell what you will need by looking at your plan but what you're gonna do is go file new and we're gonna do on the preset we're gonna change it to international paper and we're gonna click on A4 now this will be 210 by 297 millimeters and that's the exact size of an A4 piece of paper. The resolution will be 300, okay? And the reason why it's going to be 300 because it's the highest quality print. We um, designers, uh, photographers, etc., et whoever prints uses resolution 300 because it's the best for printing. It's used for t-shirts, CD covers, everything that's printed, 300. And if I quickly change this to pixels, you'll see that is 2480 by 3508 and you're going to want an image relatively similar to that you can scale it up a bit but you risk your image getting blurred but you can always scale down if your image is too big so you're going to want a really big image okay however if I do lower the resolution to like for example 100 it will change the pixels it will it will no longer be 2480 it will go smaller it hasn't changed because it doesn't refresh like that because I don't know why but yeah so when you have that all set up press OK and you're gonna want to by the way I'm not actually making the whole magazine I'm just gonna show you one technique and that's all you're gonna need so I'm gonna drag in my image of this woman I'm gonna zoom out a bit and I'm gonna scale her down okay and by that I mean I want her to be similar size to the magazine okay I'm gonna go I also and I done that by pressing command T on the Mac or control T on the PC and that enters the free transform mode where you can scale down always press shift when scaling down to keep an um, equal aspect ratio so yeah that's important 
and I want her to be facing that way. So I'm going to go Edit, Transform, and I'm going to click on Flip Horizontal. Bang! We have her facing um, the right now. And the reason why we in magazines we do things facing the right is because the like bottom right corner and on the right side is the last bit where the reader eyes look on. Like for example literally before they like reach out to the page and flick that's the last thing they see so you'll notice a lot of magazines on pages on the right bottom right screen or somewhere along the right around here they'll have some sort of product or advertisement because that's the last thing that the reader sees so it like gets stuck in the reader's head so that's one reason why we have things facing the right and another reason is because it just looks better yeah no offense lefty right looks better yeah um, now if I look in my example we have the title okay and the title is made up in my example um, but it will be the title of your magazine so for example mine is called summer sizzle and I just wrote the official magazine only because I wanted it to be that tiny bit extra and I just wanted it to look a tiny bit better um, so I would in your shoes I'm not going to because actually I will I'm gonna write um, summer it would be nice if I could actually see what I'm writing um, summer I think that says summer let me just make it bigger yeah it does um, summer and I'm gonna change it to Rockwell I'm gonna not make it bold and not make it italics and we have summer let me zoom in alright it's looking good um, what you're going to want to do whilst in the text, whilst like the text tool is selected, click on this little, uh, what, what's it called? Toggle the character and paragraph panels. The character and panels little button, click on it, and you'll have this little thing box pop up. It's really good because you can change the size of your font by dragging simply like that. You can change the gap between each letter uh, by dragging the AV like that and obviously in minus it will make them closer um, you can change the color of your text really easily you can change the font really easily you can make it bold italic uh, you can make them all capitals it's a really good typography little tool and it's typography is really used a lot in magazines so I recommend having this box open 24 7 in this little project because it will help you a lot so yeah, I'm going to go right sizzle with a capital, um, and I'm going to make it a lot smaller. I'd say around 40, and have it around there, maybe even a bit smaller. Let me zoom in. I think summer should be in capitals, perhaps. Hey, let me see how that was. Yeah, it was in capitals. Um, and I think sizzle should be in capitals as well alright let me make some a bit smaller actually I'm not even going to bother making it look nice because um, that's just a waste of time so there we have it our little summer sizzle we have our title now and literally all I can't really tell you it's really hard to tell you guys what to do because each magazine will be different so you have to follow your plan I'm just basically the main thing you need to know in magazine making and all sorts of book cover making is how to edit text and you edit text by using this little box I showed you for example if I wrote hello okay I as I showed you this can make it um, what's it called all capitals it can make it bold it can make it italic it can do all sorts of things and I'll show you an example in um, how it can be effective okay I'm gonna write hello my name is David okay I know it's spelled weird um, I'm gonna change the text to Arial okay so really basic text and I'm gonna make this look decent okay I'm gonna zoom in at a hundred percent I'm gonna make the text a lot smaller Okay. There we have it. Now we're viewing this at 
and what I'm going to do, I'm going to select hello and I'm going to make it bold, okay? I'm going to write my name is um, David, sorry, in bold also, but also italics, okay? I might even change the name to be yellow, okay? And the rest to be black, maybe? To make it stand out so you guys can see, because... I'm not wearing my glasses and white's not really standing out that much for me. Um, so, can you see how, yeah, over here you can see it quite well, how the hello stands out, my name is, just normal, um, and David is in italics and in bold. It, like, editing text can make it look really good, and in my example, that's all i done. I literally, if I zoom in, um, and I hide this box, if you can see, I wrote, like, learn how to make your own sun cream. That's all in italics and a different color. What to wear and what not to grab eyes on a beach. It's like using different fonts, different sizes, different angles, italics, non-italics, boldness. Uh, you can also, like, transform your text so you can, like, rotate it, etc. By pressing Command T or Control T. Um, you can do all sorts of things. And it basically the text is the only main thing in a magazine because it's what you have to do everything else like these text and layout are the main important things in a magazine because it's what you do and it's what is like the most work on I recommend following a color scheme for example if in my example over here my color scheme was white and yellow and there's no point in changing different like having a million colors because the reader will just look at it and get baffled too many colors for the human eye will unattract the um, reader and chances are they won't buy the magazine okay um, so yeah you just wanna have a plan and follow that plan don't f don't copy other people's magazines just have a quick plan like even like mess around with little things like the barcode I just made a little shape underneath it I wrote summer sizzle dot c m g three ninety nine I wrote the magazine reference number I wrote a load of rubbish u k s number one summer magazine we know it's not number one summer magazine we know it's the number one yearly magazine because I made it gosh and we know it's not a summer magazine we know it's a porn magazine secretly so yeah I'm only joking um so I just want you to play around with the text the text will make the text, the typography, I should call it. Typography can make a design look either really basic or really, really professional and really good looking. Mine's not the best because I rushed it, but like, it, like even over here, exclusive interview of Beauty Babe, CMG David Cole. Okay, that is me, but okay, yes, I am a Beauty Babe. I do like nude modeling, but okay, I really don't. But you can see how, like, just ma messing with the bold and italics makes text stand out and look better than just being plain by itself. So just play around with the fonts, play around with all this and that. As long as you know the basics, watch a few of my tutorials if you want to get some inspiration in what you can do with Photoshop. If not, just follow the plan. If you have any questions, just comment and I will try to get back to you. Um, and that's it, really. I have not much to say apart from photo tuition will be released in 8 days, January the 25th, so I have an exam on that day, science, wish me luck please, um, wish me luck, wish me luck, um, so after the exam I'm gonna like, I'm gonna run home just for you guys, I might even swim home on the pavement, I'll like lay on the pavement and just pretend to swim home, and start uploading all 25 videos I think it will be, maybe a bit less, 23 or something, along those lines, um, and you guys will be able to jump into that archive of video so, but yeah until then you can follow me on twitter to stay updated join my facebook group or fan page whatever it's called link will be in the sidebar um, blah 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 you can donate to um, me if any of my tutorials helped link will also be in the sidebar all donations are very very much appreciated um, rate this video five stars cause you guys don't have to buy new tables because you will no longer need to carve my name into them because I is back biatches so yeah um, favorite send this video around to all your mates post it on different tutorial websites please it does help me and 
just subscribe and add me as a friend and stay in contact people till next time peace adios amigos au revoir um blah blah how else do i say goodbye all right just bye